Hello there, I'm up on Clear Mountain today working with an executive team at the Clear Mountain Retreat. You might be able to just pick up in the distance there, Brisbane City, long way away. Anyway, up here on the mountain, nice fresh air, we've had a great session on customer centricity. And the key thing today has been really about what is the framework that this organisation will use for building customer centricity. Because most organisations talk about customer centricity, they talk about building customer experience plans or whatever it might be to build into their organization to develop more customer centric approach. But customer centricity is really about building strategy at the, par at the heart of it. It's a strategy that's based on customers, on customer groups, knowing the value proposition, knowing that two way value exchange for each of your customers, and then delivering that value on the way through. It's not just about doing bits and pieces, adding NPS as a KPI, for example, or even putting in a customer experience program. It's literally about building the strategy for the organization from the vision, the mission, and the purpose all the way through to the, the delivery of value for your customers. So we use the framework on that. There's the, there's the five tenets of the customer-centric approach of business and the nine imperatives for leaders. And what we do when we do that, we find that the, the activity that takes place is we focus on two things. One is we need to build a set of results and a measurement framework so that we can ensure that we're delivering and measuring the impact that we're, say, we're delivering for customers in terms of value. And the second then is really building a customer strategy. And that customer strategy is about identifying your customer groups, understanding the two-way value exchange, and then having some intent about what to do with each one of those types of customers, those customer groups. Do you want to grow them? Do you want to re-engineer their relationship to make sure that you deliver on purpose? Anyway, I have a definitive guide to the customer-centric approach to business. If you like one of those, just put yes please in the comments and I'll get the definitive guide to you. Hope this has been of value and it's all about making progressive improvement towards being more customer-centric. Hope this has been of value and thanks for watching.